Tonight, we're learning new details about the Radford man accused of operating a medical facility without a license. Martin Riding is locked up tonight, facing 64 charges for allegedly working with what he saw as patients, but police say are really victims. 10 News reporter Shane Dwyer is digging into his life online and also talked with a woman who went to him for treatment. Shane, what did you find out? Brittany, on the web, Riding describes himself as a holistic healer and alternative health service. This is how he portrays himself. There you see him right there, but tonight he's an inmate at the New River Valley Regional Jail. 32 of those 64 charges that he's facing are felonies and he was denied bonds. So since we couldn't talk to him ourselves, we went looking for answers elsewhere. Someone was home at Martin Riding's place in Radford Tuesday night, but they had no interest in talking with us. This is Shane Dwyer with 10 News. Riding's White House sits on the corner and out back is the white cinder block building where he operated his business, Renew for Life. A car in the driveway has the company name on its license plate and on its Facebook page, Riding is featured prominently wearing a medical jacket and working with different vials. Recent posts on the Facebook page are critical of the pharmaceutical industry and explore anti-vaccine topics. Some of his listed services are acupressure, hot stones, and lymph drainage. A few people recommended Martin on his Facebook page, including Gaila Degaya. Earlier this year, she wrote he's totally amazing and truly a man of God after visiting his office. But after learning of his charges, Degaya told 10 News Martin is a, quote, very confused person who has a sickness and has been deceiving others. I'm glad he won't be able to continue operating. His is just the kind that could really harm the public who is simply looking for a trustworthy professional to aid them in a time of need. Martin faces 64 charges in total for practicing without a license, half of which are felonies. Online, he says he's licensed with the Pastoral Medical Association, and its website says PMA licensees do not practice medicine, but rather promote Bible-based services. It's unclear what exactly Riding was doing that broke the law. Those details should start emerging as the court case begins. Radford police are asking anyone who may have any more information about Riding to contact them. In the studio, Shane Dwyer, 10 News, working for you.